Greetings to you wherever you are watching me from. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel and I thank you for tuning back in. So let me show you how I created this grass effect on that Think About Things cake. Here are the ingredients I used. I used desiccated coconut, lemon food, gel color. And also used vivid green food gel color. And uh, I used piping gel. I use the Wilton brand piping gel. You can use any piping brand, any brand you, you desire. You can even use um, uh, edible glue. And again, as you saw earlier, a, a brush. The brush I used to, I used the brush to apply the piping gel onto my fondant covered cake. And as you saw earlier, I simply poured my desiccated coconut into a bowl. Some of my desiccated coconut into a bowl. I applied the vivid green piping gel initially and I mixed it together to of course I wanted to see how it came out before I began to add more it simply you know it, as the saying goes a little goes a long way so it's better to add more than to add too much and then it's be difficult for you to start taking off when you add too much as you saw there I added a bit of my lemon um, food gel color again one of uh, the other ingredients I used was uh, vodka clear alcohol I applied two drops onto my mixture this is to give it uh, to make the color a bit more vivid and you know bold so you can see now my color has uh, come out beautifully well so uh, it is moist it is nice it is edible <laughs> this cake is actually for a young celebrant and now I have now proceeded to using my brush to apply my piping gel all around my fondant covered cake this is actually the bottom tier of a three-tier cake, of a three-tier think about think about themed cake. So I'm using my I'm using my uh, edible uh, my my brush to apply my piping gel onto and around the surface of my fondant covered cake. The purpose of this piping gel is to act as an adhesive for my uh, mixture to sit on. As you saw there, I tried to use spoon, but unfortunately the spoon was not working for me, so I said to use my hand. And as you would have seen earlier in the video, that I, I've already washed my hands, you know, I washed my hands consistently at intervals throughout, throughout, before and throughout the course of my creating a cake project, either baking, decorating, whatever that I'm doing, I, my hands are constantly washed under running water with soap. So here I am. Again, continuing with uh, applying my um, my mixture, my mixture, my desiccated colored, my desiccated coconut colored green onto my mm, fondant covered cake, ensuring that every surface of my fondant covered cake is covered with my colored desiccated coconut. And I forgot to mention that before I began this uh, application, uh, after my, my uh, yes my my cake was already covered in fondant green fondant and my cake drum as well was covered in white fondant so in order to limit or uh, uh, to to limit the uh, stain on my white fondant drum i applied or with um clean film onto that so that that can capture the majority of the fallout from my uh, uh, my desiccated or my green colored desiccated coconut so Again, I'm simply making sure every surface of my uh, fondant covered co um, cake is covered in my mixture of green colored desiccated coconut. Now, are you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? This is a perfect time for you to do so. If you like what I'm doing, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you have come, if you if you come across my video, please leave me a thumbs up. And yes, that's the complete um, um, process done. So that's the bottom tier of my three tier cake all covered in um artificially made grass or edible grass so that's these two other tiers now stacked onto the bottom tier before the cake was fully decorated yes and that's decorated think about three tier cake everything on this cake are completely edible not all written so to speak the the doll they think about themselves they're not edible but everything else is edible the grass the butterflies the trees are completely edible do you like what you've seen please leave me a thumbs up 
you come across my video leave me a thumbs up and i'd appreciate your comments if you if you have any question please drop it and if you have a better way of achieving this again i'd love to hear read from you please drop your suggestion and uh, it, please i'd love as well for you to share if you have friends share on your social media platforms to your friends and family members i'd appreciate that and also don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video take it for now bye